And I still would love to be a wife. I want to have more kids. I'm not going to ever sit down. Not for no man. A nigga will do this for me. And I did this for them. I have a question. This is for Miss Jess. Why can't you keep a man? You dated so many, but why can't you keep one? Because I just... Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Your sisters, your brothers, trying his best. Anything you think I should work on? What you think I should do? The same thing. What? Get, the house? Get, the house? Get, damn, I kept the house, all the furniture that he put in it, Whoa. everything. God, damn, damn. I go after what if I if I'm attracted to somebody. You a lioness. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll let you know I'm attracted to you. Like you look good. You're you're attractive. I find you attractive. Let me buy you a drink. Or you know, do you drink? Shit. Why why we can't do it? Jessica. What? Miss Moore. Hmm? I'll tell you something. <laughs> that right there is impressive. Sorry, Cam, but that is not impressive. Not a lot of guys like being approached by women who are aggressive. The first thing they're going to think is that the girl is for the streets. In fellowship, I usually ask the question to my beautiful queens, right? I said, yo, have you ever approached a man? Hell no, I ain't ever approaching them. I'm the catch. They need to be approaching. It don't matter how manly uh, that you may be, men still need help. We don't know if you dating somebody or messing with somebody yeah. respectfully. Mm -hmm. So it will help. It's too much to process yeah. as a man. So men need help. Most alpha males out there do not have a problem talking to women and interacting with a woman. And nine times out of 10, not in all situations, an alpha male does not want to be aggressively approached by a woman. Why? It's already a dominant trait and alpha males do not attract to dominant women. I need to come to Baltimore and just hang out with you. You teach me like the Baltimore and then show me like where you used to be homeless and shit, where I see where you grew up from, your block, and you used to work at McDonald's and shit. So show me where you used to work at and everything and then learn your day. Who told you I was homeless? This is like part of people's success. It makes us feel better. No, it don't make me feel shit. And we had the best house on the block. Don't know, ever play with no, me. I'm saying, let's just paint the picture. I say it all the time. I'm like, I, I was homeless. They be like, tell us your story. I was homeless. Nah, this ain't no Tyler Perry shit. Nah, I never okay. was living in my car. I never did none of that. <laughs> Not a lot of people want to be known for being a victim or known for being from the hood. So on this side, Jess, you got my props for that. But approaching a man aggressively, nah, I ain't still rocking with you with that one. Even when I was working at McDonald's, stealing out the register, all that. Now, I did all of that now, but nah, I was never, yeah, yeah. Did they ever catch you? <clears throat> Absolutely. You beat the sure. case? No, I did time. Did you tell them why you was in jail? Did I tell niggas why? I didn't talk you, to nobody. I bet say, don't tell them that. You gotta say something gangster or some shit. I ain't telling niggas shit. They're like, why you in? I'm like, and then walk off. Mm -hmm. How niggas really be scared of you? You don't tell them shit. All they thought, probably thought you was deaf. Now, these are some new facts. I never knew that she was locked up. So if you ask me, Jess Hilarious is really hood for real. Don't she kind of look like a grown up sexy red? That's good too, because they never tried me. So mm -hmm. they well, I feel like that. girl jail is different from boy girl. Shit, I've seen them beat the shit out of us in there. Mm -hmm. And I used to steal from this girl. Uh, she used to have a lot of candy in her little locker. Mm -hmm. Did she ever notice? Yeah, but I blamed it on somebody one time. All right, crazy. She, she gonna watch this episode. Shit. Just hilarious is for the streets. These are the typical hood thoughts that dudes like being around, but guys don't like to wife up these type of women, man. Would you date a bisexual man? Uh, no. Okay. Um, oh. and not, not all. Bitch, no, what the fuck? Because of sexuality, but it's mm -hmm. like, you like men too. I want somebody who just solely likes women. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's just a preference. Would you date a faithful bisexual man? If you knew, if you can't just say, babe, I'm bisexual, but it's me and you right now. No. Right. I, can't. I don't. It ain't going to work like that, homeboy. I don't, I'm not interested in it. I'm not looking at no man. I'm not trying to be with no man. It's just me and you right now. But this shit is change, right? What if you see somebody walking down my rooms? I saw you walking. Would I yeah. date a bisexual man? No. Have I you ever not. dated a bisexual man? No. It, that would be an issue for me. I, mm -hmm. I don't. Just my preference is not to date someone who is interested in the same sex at, at times or sometimes on Saturdays, whenever the fuck. I, I just, I want you to strictly be in. Everybody is not walking around confused about what they want to be with, even though they're trying to portray this image in social media. A lot of people who are bored with their life have been brainwashed that when you get reach a state of confusion, you could go be with the same gender. And then when you want to change your mind, the world is supposed to adjust to it. The world is not adjusting to it. That's why they call it mental illness. Oh my God, let me find out. I'ma like this nigga. He drives, he works, and he only got one kid. I could deal with that. And his son is six, so the baby mama should be over his ass. He's raised by his dad, he close with his mom. 
Wait, that could be good or bad. She could be a Russell Wilson mom or a Blueface mom. Really? Girl, you just met this nigga. And here you go. Look at your dumb ass sitting here thinking it can be something. You know damn well you a nigga at heart. And you ain't gonna fuck with this one nigga for long. You gonna get bored because he's too fucking soft. You just said he was nice. Shut the fuck up. This could be the one that changed you, though. You said in 2023, we try and love. You could do it. This one is different. He older. He ain't on social media. And he don't rap. Rip it on any beat. Fuck it. A win is a win. A win is a win, bitch. Not because he older. And next week, he gonna be an old ass clown. Don't you get rid of your niggas, bitch. Don't forget you. The crazy part about it is, guys, pay attention to what she's doing. When you start to overanalyze life, it's a feminine trait because this is what women really do. Women literally sit back and think about everything, which is why you get so many mood swings. Get you let Percy shoot up the club last month so you can't even move forward with this nigga. You still got to deal with that. Not to mention Stanley taking you to see future, nigga. You ain't got time for no commitments, nigga. Ooh. But you said new year, new <laughs> bitch. We going to see future. Oh my God, let me find out. I'ma like this nigga. He dropped, DM'd me, and wanted to fly me out so I could him. In his, yes, but not with a dildo. This nigga thought I was a man. Very drunk where he was. What the fuck is Very wrong with him? Now, why would somebody think that you are a man? Why? Actions. People pay attention to actions. When you're when you are a aggressive woman and you're going towards a man and you have manly traits, that's what a man's going to think when he's looking at you through the internet. And also this nigga was like, yo, and I love him to death. Still, we're still good friends. This nigga was like, and you know, I say this. He was like, um, well, in a few years, I don't even want you to be touring and doing, I want you to be, you want me to do what? Stay home. And you want to take care of me. That sounds great to a certain type of female. I don't even know what the fireman even gonna look like cause I ain't gonna ever do it. And I still would love to be a wife. I wanna have more kids. I, I'm not gonna ever sit down. Not for no man. A nigga will do this for me. After I did this for them. I never throw in your face this, but you gonna throw in my face this? Shut, shut goofy ass out of here. You and also. And they keep wondering why men are going over to other cultures. Like she said, she's never going to stop grinding. You're dealing with Country Wayne, who had a lot of money, making a lot of money now. Now he's built a legacy. And he's saying, listen, when we settle down, I'd rather just take care of you. That's what a lot of men want to do. But women are like, no, I want to get up and work. Cool. If you want to get up and work, just play the side chick role. There's no need for you trying to be a girlfriend, be a mother, be a wife. Life, like she just named you can't do all of that with a dominant male you like dominant males but dominant males only like submissive women that they can take care of and women are having a hard time adjusting to that if you want to be a dominant woman work uh, and be a go-getter and a mom just be a side chick with benefits there's nothing wrong or go get in a polygamy poly relationship where you could still be free country one what happened what Please. This nigga was married the whole time. Listen, had the lawyer call me talking about, yeah, the divorce is like final. He had, he had taken me out of town. I wake up next day, shade room. I'm a home wrecker and everything. Oh, I wake him up. Yeah, no, no. Get up out that heavenly sleep. Yeah. You but I yeah. must be honest with you. Yeah. You knew what the fuck he was getting into. This nigga had 30. Listen, Jess Hilarious is a hood chick. One thing about hood chicks, they like guys who have multiple women. Why? They love the drama. He told me, he said, I was married, but we are, we, we've been going through this uh, divorce for a whole year. We had to be separated for a year and whatever, but now it is final. I can get my lawyer on the phone. This was presented to me before I even was like, all right. We can be in a relationship mm. because I, I was just getting out of a relationship. Mm. Country wine. What happened? What? Okay, at least he was honest in a relationship, but like, let's keep it real. You still knew that he had multiple baby mothers. Why did you choose ATL as your home base? I, well, listen, I did a year ago and then I got my fucking Enterprise rental stolen twice. So I, I'm like, I, I don't want to be in Atlanta. I just came here for you, Cam. I'm going to be honest with you. I, my fans is good and you cool, but these motherfuckers will. And yo, and the last nigga that took my car knew who I was. 
I was at a gas station and I dumb as hell. I left my keys in the car. I go get some backwoods and I get it. Yo, the nigga was like, oh shit, you got, man, you got that shit on. I just need this car. I said, all right. He had a gun. I said, all right, cool. He said, I said, can I get my purse? He let me get my purse. I said, all right, cool. Atlanta owes me nothing. Jess Hilarious just shows you how hood chicks operate. They're good to listen to, laugh at their jokes, look how dramatized they are. But these are not the typical women that a guy wants to be in a relationship. And what we're facing in modern society is more women are just hilarious. You're hilarious. We get it. But a man cannot take you serious. That's the message behind this video that I want women to understand. If a guy looks at you as one of the boys, he ain't trying to be the dude that marry you. You got to make a decision of what type of woman you want to be. All women are independent. All women can work. But when you wear it on your sleeve and you make it your dominant nature, a man only sees another man. I have a question. This is for Miss Jess. Why can't you keep a man? You've dated so many, but why can't you keep one? Because I just didn't know a lot about myself, honestly. I was, you know, a lot of people date, you know, with the notion that they are perfect. And that's how I've always thought. And then, you know, I learned something about myself with every person that I've dated. You know, I also learned, um, like, in my relationship now, I'm learning a lot of things that I didn't learn from previous guys. That also, when you date somebody, it can kind of like, you, you kind of see like your pattern. Like, I have a type. And okay. then you can see whether you have a type or not. Because the person I'm dating now, ain't nothing like the guys that I had before. And so you can kind of see where you've evolved as well, because now you pay attention to certain things, like other things that you've never paid attention to before. So I, I date to get experience and I learn myself, and I'm, I'm loving it. Okay, so what didn't I do right? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, I'm, that brings me to the next segment, which is called... Everyone should date for experiences. The more experiences you have, you know what you like and you know what you don't like. I always recommend people to start seeking serious relationships when you get in your 30s. In your 20s, I believe you should just be traveling the world. Get the house? Get the house? Get, get damn, I kept the house, all the furniture that he put in it, Whoa. everything. God damn, damn. Thank you. Bob, Jeff. That's, that's, just, that's just what it oh, is. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, Jeff. I don't live there no more. I got tenants, but yeah. Wow, Jess. Keep wow. the house a man bought. You didn't go buy your own house. That's Dude. boss. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> you keep Keep in mind, <clears throat> keep in mind, Country Wayne already stated in his last interview that he was renting the house. So when they broke up, all she did was just keep paying the rent and his name wasn't even on the lease. I think that we should work on for you. Start with dad. You could take us to a little fun places. You know, in, in, in that standpoint, I, I agree. But, you know, the last couple months has been hard for daddy and... I try not to let you and your sister see that. Things is gonna get better. And you and your siblings can, we can't get back to our normal. I think that we should work on for you. Start with dad. You could take us to little fun places. You know, in, in, in that standpoint, I, I agree. But, you know, the last couple months has been hard for daddy. And I try not to let you and your sister see that. Things is gonna get better. And you and your siblings, and we can't get back to our normal lives. Mm -hmm. Instead of telling you no, I just try to brush it off. Because mm -hmm. I don't like telling y'all no. But it's times that daddy don't have it, and I can't afford it. But his baby moms is just hilarious. Just hilarious. You got some of that money, man. You shouldn't be having your baby dad out here crying on camera because he can't pay any rent while you get to travel the world. You got to work together. You're making your own son look bad in front of his father. All of y'all at once. Right. Try. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, 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 I mean, it's going to be bad. Mm -hmm. Aww. Look at that. You don't want to be doing this type of stuff in front of his father. He's going to be looking at his father like his father's a loser. It's, it's going to be bad. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. This is good, babe. This is really good. I'm glad. That's why I told you to talk today. You can talk to your father. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Your sisters, your brothers, trying his best. Anything you think I should work on? What you think I should do? 
the same thing. What? I think that we should work on. You could see at least her son was honest with her, letting her know you're not perfect either.